Well, I've abused. Yeah. What is that? Right, we, sh we should be live now. Just let, just let me. Uh... I've got some more. Yeah, because that's why I got the loud, yeah. Is it live? Yeah. Yeah, we're live. Sorry about that, guys. That we was do it for you guys. We do it for you guys, but it's the Pontefract internet. Alright then. Alright, I'm going. Let me just get my shit together. Do you just want to mute the audio on, on there? Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Um, oh, Steve, do you want walkie talkies to speak to us outside? Um, have you got them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cheers. Oh, God. Whew. Right then. So, guys, um, Let me try and hold this bad boy. I mean, this is a big, big camera, but I'm holding it with more one hand. So yeah, this is pretty much um, gonna be like how we basically record a video that you guys get to see. So this is pretty much raw footage, but it's live, it's live raw footage. We're here in the dark, we're here in night vision. Um, everyone has literally just left the house. I think I'm gonna be doing this for about 30, 40, 50 minutes, something like that until I've had enough. Um, we've got 215 people in the chat, so I want to say thank you to everyone who's come back. Sorry about the technical issues that we just recently had. Um, and we're here all in the dark. Now, like I say, it's always a bit, it's always a bit weird coming here at 30 East Drive in the dark. You know, we've had a lot of experiences in this house. Um, a lot of experiences so anything could happen at any second you know i've seen my mate stiff he's been growled at before he legged it straight out of the house um griff's been hissed at in this house in the broad daylight you know when it was so sunny and he legged it out of this house so this is going to be pretty pretty interesting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually flip it around i'm going to go around call out and do what i usually do um, we don't actually have any equipment really set up apart from a Chucky doll, but that's not really equipment, that's more of a mascot. And we're going to just see if Fred, Emily, Emma, Simon, and whoever else is in this location, hopefully that they can come forward, can talk to us, can interact with me, um, can scare me. Because like I said, the last time I was in here, I was calling it a pussy. And something hit, um, something shuffled right next to me, which was not a nice feeling. Anyway, so I'm going to go upstairs. Whew, I'm going to have to turn it the other way around because, like I say, it is heavy, this camera. So here we go, guys. Ugh, it's all stuck. I'm going to have to do a bit of camera work, don't worry. I mean, wire work. Here we go guys, the infamous stairs. Now this is where I was a couple months back. Now what you guys don't really see in the main video, what I was doing, I was actually walking around all here and I was talking, I was saying, come on, blah, 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 blah. 
um, kind of just being a bit of a dick towards whatever spirit is here. And then as soon as I got to this location, I was looking up the stairs and I called, I called the poltergeist or whatever spirit is in this house. I called you a pussy. And then no word of a lie, something here shuffled. Now, this is about eight, nine foot, no, not eight. I'd say about six foot away from me. You know, these clothes. So maybe it could have been the clothes that shuffled or moved that actually scared me. But it sounded a lot closer than that. You know, I don't know exactly what the hell it is. I just want to apologize to everybody in chat. I can't actually see your comments. Um, I don't have a device or anything. I'm literally just walking around with the camera. So if you think I'm ignoring you, I'm really not. It's just I can't see what I'm saying. Fred? Emma? Emily? Walk down these stairs for me right now. I'm all on my own. I'm not afraid of you. Come forward. Show yourself. Scare me like you have before. When you made me run up these stairs, shaking. Where are you? Are you in the coal shed? Let me tell you one man, let me lock this door. Where are you? Now I can't close the door fully because I do have a wire, but it's closed pretty much 95%. Come and join me, Fred. Come forward and join me. Open that door. Come and show yourself behind me. Knock on the door. You're meant to be the world's most powerfulest poltergeist. Surely you must be able to do this, come on.
Come and join me in the coal shed where you've dragged people to the floor, where you've scared them in absolute fear that they've never come back again. Come and do it right now to me on camera, live. Come on, Fred. Come on, Emma. Simon, Emily, whoever. That's just the wire people just dragging on the floor. It's nothing paranormal. If you want me upstairs, give me a sign. Make a noise for me if you want me to go upstairs on my own. All right, coming up anyway. I'm going up, guys. Hopefully I've got enough wire. I should do. Crap, I nearly fell backwards. I've got a ramp up there. Um, let me just give myself a bit more wire. Dale, if your camera falls off here, I'm blaming it on Fred. I'm just leaving it on the flipping banister at the moment. So, if that, hap if that happens, that's my excuse. Anyway. Let me just put a REM pod on. go we've got the REM pod on people if you want to set that off children spirits whatever you can and this is where I'm sleeping now this is the room where Griff's been hissed at before where my mate Stiff has been growled at right in the doorway and he legged it out of the house. I mean, we've had so much activity in this room, it's a joke. If, ever, if any of you guys have seen Most Haunted, I think they did actually capture something legitimate, is they had balls all um, on the floor, and then they started like kind of um, being blown this way and then blown backwards. It was actually pretty amazing to see. I do actually believe that was uh, legit. Are you in this room with me right now? In Philip's bedroom? We've got the Marshall lamp, guys. Repping the Marshall lamp. What I might do? I might play the Lord's Prayer. Flipping hell. That's just the boiler coming on. It's just the boiler. Nothing paranormal. It's all this crap on here. I'll tell you what guys, I can't see a thing. All right, let me just turn my torch on just for two seconds. Oh God, I'll tell you what, my arm is dead. Well, can this, can this balance on here? Oh crap. Right then. Move the apple. 
So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to play the Lord's Prayer. Um, do I have my marble oil? Yes, I do. I've got a walkie-talkie as well. Actually, let me see if that sets the ramp pot off. See what I mean? I used that from Philip's bedroom and the REM pod went off. So if ever you guys go on ghost hunting groups or event companies or anything like that, that shows you right there. I mean, I'm a good, what, t um, 15, 20 foot away from it and it just set it off. So always be a bit careful. You know, electronics, I mean, you don't know who's going around or whatever. Um, you know, police officers could be using walkie-talkies or whatever radios they use. And they could set REM pods off. Doesn't mean it's always paranormal. But anyway, I'm going to set up the um, the good old Solomon app. We're going to get the Lord's, pr play uh, ah, Lord's Prayer blasting through this place right now. Um, let's hopefully, let's see if this can stir up some crap. Um, let's see if I can get affected. Let's see if I can, something can drag me to the floor. Hopefully, <laughs> fuck it. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, nothing paranormal, guys. It was just the Solomon app. Uh, it's growling uh, Solomon app, me. So let me let me just relax a tiny bit. So we're connecting to the Marshall amp. Here we go, man. We are ready to fire this bad boy off. Um, if you guys are a bit scared, because I know a lot of people say they don't like hearing this. Um, just mute this uh, for a few min uh, for about a minute or two. But you know, stop being a wimp. Just remember what I'm having to go through. I'm here in the dark where there's poltergeists and everything, and I'm playing this through a Marshall amp full blast on my own in the dark. So just think of what I'm going through. Um, and here we go. What do you think of that? Did you like that? Do you want to show yourself? Come on, Emily. Before you've squeezed my hand so much that it hurt so bad that I couldn't even hold my phone or send a message. Come forward. Come around me if you can.
Bang for me. Knock for me. Push me. Do whatever you can. I do not mind. God. That's just the water. Going into the, um, like, I think filling up or whatever. That was horrible. My heart just skipped a beat then. Come on, Emma. Come forward. Come into this room. Come walk towards me. Hello? Emma? If you're in this room with me, could you knock for me twice, please? Could you knock that door for me, please? Or if it's Fred? The Black Monk? Could you bang? And one of these drawers, could you throw one of these apples? Honestly, you can do whatever you want. People don't believe in this house. People say it's a scam. Come and show them that it isn't. People say that people use tricks. Editing tricks. They just mess about in this house. And there is no poltergeist. There is no spirits. Now this room is meant to be where one of the portals are. Come out to this so-called portal. Come and show yourself. Come on. Bring the scariest demon entity spirit out of this portal right now to do something. I'm not afraid of whoever it is. Go get Moloch. Go get him right now. Bring him forward. Show yourself, Moloch. You little bitch. Now this doll's meant to be haunted. Look at it. Apparently it moves. Goes all around the place. I've never seen it happen, if I'm honest. Where's Victoria gone? Oh, here she is. Now this one's apparently gone up into the loft. You gonna move from me tonight? Now, I'm not sensing anything, guys. I don't feel anything at the moment. I just feel like I'm shouting <laughs> to the walls. I'm not really feeling anything. I 
feel quite peaceful, I suppose, you could say. So, yeah, it feels all right, to be honest. Is that the autofocus? Um, it feels okay. I haven't heard anything. Nothing that you could call uh, being paranormal. Let me just sit on this bed. Have I got enough wire? I've got enough wire, I've got enough wire. Um, I need a haircut, I know. As soon as I get home, I will be going to have a haircut. Um, all the rest of the team, they are outside. I'm just here on my own. Now, when I've done the lamb visual about, it's actually coming up to a year ago, and I come into this house for the first time in about six months, that was actually pretty scary. We had the REM pod going off. I actually heard walking in this room where I am right now. Um, I haven't had anything like that at the moment. Um, if you could set the REM pod off. If that's all the power that you have, go and set it off. You can use all my energy and use it on that. Just set it off twice. You just go close to it and do this. That's all you've got to do. It doesn't harm you at all. And I know you've seen these because people come in here every single day and they ask you to set it off. Now last night we did set off, um, we did set up the REM pod and he went off about five times. I think that's just a car. Set it off now. Could any of the spirits please come forward and just set off the REM pod for me? It's just me guys, nothing paranormal. Just moving a wire. <laughs> well, hopefully waiting for the REM pod to go off. just me knocking the clock. We've got people watching this live right now all over the world. Come and say something to him. Come and say hello. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, shite. Crap, I'm gonna have to go back upstairs. Let me just saw this wire. I think it's stuck on the banister. There we go. Nothing to be afraid of, is there? Let's see what the chat's saying. Let's see if people are still watching. Can't imagine anyone watching this. Whoa, 400 people. Thank you so much, people, for watching this. If we've got a troll in the chat, Laura, just um, just deal with it. Holy crap, 400. 
Thank you for that, guys. It means a lot to us. Usually we only get 400 people watching us when it's to do with drama. So we appreciate that, that this is actually about what it's all about and that's the paranormal. Trying to find something for you guys, some real evidence. And at the moment, unfortunately, we haven't captured anything. We'll keep, we'll keep trying, we'll keep calling out. Let's go in the front room. How you doing, Chuck? Oh, God. Oh, God. So, God, this is odd holding this camera. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit here. I've got the Chucky next to me. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to just listen out for a bit. Actually, I'll go and do the chair. Whoa! Hello? I don't know if you guys would have heard that. That was a massive loud bang. Let me see if it was just the wire. If it was the wire hitting off the door, it sounded a bit louder than that, but you can't rule it out. That was just me, sorry guys. Right then. Oh god. Hello? Did you just make that banging noise? If so, could you do it again, please? You making that, that banging noise for me, please? Could you make it so loud that that lampshade moves? Make it swing side to side. Last time I checked, we had 400 people watching. That's a lot of people. Use all their energy from home. Again, I don't know how the hell you would do that. But whatever, we'll go with it. Use all their energy. Use all mine, use Dale's, Griff's, Justin, Solves, Carol's, everyone. Use it, come on. Hold on, hold on. I did hear like a little knock, but it could be nothing. Say, so it is getting quite cold here in good old England. I'm just relaxing in the chair. Whew, dear me. So guys, um, let me just hold this up like that. So this is how it is. This is how it pretty much goes a lot of the time on these paranormal investigations. You know, um, when you do cut out the equipment, when you cut out everything like that and you just see it for what it really is, um, I mean, it is still scary. You know, you are still walking around in these dark locations on your own. 
it's still tense, but you know when you're not got the spirit boxes screaming demon, devil, kill, and all this other garbage, it's not as terrifying as um, other people make it out to be. That doesn't mean the paranormal isn't real because it is real. Now, don't ask me what the paranormal is because I have no idea what it is. Um, could be interdimensions or glitches in the flipping universe. I have no idea. Do not ask. But whatever it is, it is fascinating. Um, you know, we've experienced so much activity over the years. I mean, last Saturday we experienced some incredible stuff. So stay tuned for the video there soon. Um, remember, anybody new who's who's joining us tonight, you know, I'm Steve from the Ouija Brothers. Um, go over and leave a like and subscribe. Go check out the Patreon. I might as well plug, plug all the merch because nothing else is happening. Um, check out the Patreon. You can join us for $1 per month and you get access to raw footage, which basically means more of this crap. And if anyone's interested in that, you can go and um, watch it all. And um, what else can you get? Yeah, brand new merch. Uh, join us on Twitter, Facebook, all that other good stuff. But yeah, this is this is how most of our nights usually go. We just go around, we call out, we talk, and we get people moaning to just saying that we talk too much. So what I might do is for about just about two minutes, three minutes, I'm just going to be quiet. And we're going to just listen to the house to see if we can hear anything. Because I've plugged the merch, I've plugged the Patreon, I've plugged all that stuff. So now I am going to be quiet. Um, my mouth's going to be dry. Um, so I'm going to spin it back around. And just just bear with me, you know what I mean? We're just going to listen to the house together. And basically see if we can hear any noises. Because we, we do have a good camera. Um, hopefully... You know, Fred will storm down them stairs so fast and scares the crap out of me. I don't think it will happen. Um, but saying that, you just never know what could happen in... Oh, it's just Carol. It's just Carol um, uh, shouting, or well, just talking loud. So, you don't know what can happen in the paranormal. Anything could happen at any second. So, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to be quiet. And I'm going to put the camera on this table next to me. And we're all going to listen out to see if anything at all can come down and scare the crap out of all of us. You know, I'm expecting big things, but also expecting nothing. So I don't know how that works. But anyway, I'll talk you guys to death if you let me. So I'm going to put it there. Um... Is that a bit better? Just lift it up a bit. Let me just... Oh, God. There we go, guys. So now I'm just going to be quiet. Um, I am in a rocking chair. So what I actually might do, I might, I'll, I'll move out this chair. And I'm going to sit in this one. Let me just close this door. There we go. So... Can you see through there? Right then, here we go. Oh, shit. Walkie talkie's going off. Hold on, let me just ask him. Is everything all right? Yeah, we were just doing a test. Did that set the REM pod off? I haven't heard the REM pod go off just yet. No, I am I am downstairs at the moment, so I haven't heard it go off now. Okay. Right then, guys. I'm staying quiet, so hopefully we can capture something.
Fred? My name is Stephen. Could you make a noise for me and all my friends that are watching right now? It would mean the world to us. A lot of people do not believe in this location. They think it's a scam. Come and prove yourself. Close that door. Could you please close the door for me? Oh God. So, um, so I was quiet for about two, three minutes, I think. It's been a good, it's been a good long visual, you know, because nothing's happened, and I always see that as good. Because um, it's it's not it's not good to be honest when you crap yourself quite a few times and you and you're shaking. To be honest, it doesn't happen that often, but it can happen. Um, this time it hasn't happened, but hopefully when uh, you know Dale, Justin, and Griff come in here, hopefully. You know, something happens to them, you know, because the night is still young, you know, it's only what about quarter past nine, you know, we could be live now for another three, four, five hours, and who knows, man, we might even go live tomorrow. Um, you know, if Justin or Dale want to stick around, we might even go live tomorrow, and we might try and do the same kind of thing for you guys. Um, but at the moment, nothing's happening, but. You know, it could, it could change. Hopefully it does. But it's always fascinating, to be honest, to come to East Drive, 3rd East Drive, um, because, you know, every single night, well, I wouldn't say every single night, but, you know, most of the time, you don't know what could happen. Um, you know, you, you'll never get the same night. You know, you could just get little things happen here and there. Um, I'm not going to crack the spirit box open. I, don't, I think the batteries are actually dead on the spirit box. But I always do like coming back to this place. It always seems to draw me back to it. Um, I, I remember hearing other people and other teams say, you know, how, why do you keep going back? And then I've heard other people say, oh, it just draws you and it draws you. And it does. I think it's like the adrenaline rush, the, the rush, the buzz that this place does create because... It's just that anticipation, that, that you know, just of waiting and coming in and just expecting. Well, not expecting, but just thinking, we've had this before. What's you know, what's tonight gonna offer? Um, you know, most of the time nothing does happen, but you know, you can strike it lucky, and you get something absolutely incredible. Um, I'm not focusing on the camera because I don't want to see anything walk through that door behind me towards me. Because if I seen that, I'd be here pretty fast. Um, and if he closes right behind me again, that would be horrible. I'd love to see that door close behind me. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to look at the chat and I want to see what you guys are saying. I want your suggestions um, to, to, to kind of tell me what to call out for or, you know, what to kind of do. Um, so I'm going to actually head towards the chat room. If you guys want to tell me, 
leave me your thoughts. Hopefully this stream's still working. Could go right there now and nothing's happening. Um, 442 people, my God. Right then. So I'm just gonna put the I'm just gonna put the camera here for a bit. I don't know if you can actually see me. Can you see me? I haven't got a tripod. But I'm here. I'm in the kitchen. Um I'm just watching. What what do you guys want me to do? Put trigger objects REM pod in the doorway. So the the R let me lift this up a bit. There are trigger objects kind of placed all over the place. Um, spirit box. Do you think it's too early? 3am is the time to hunt, isn't it? You know what? Mo most of the time when we do 30 years drive, we're in bed before 3 o'clock. Um, I think activity can happen at absolutely any, any time he wants to work. Sometimes... It could, it could work in the morning. You know, when we were here for five nights, Dale and Justin was getting activity at dinner time. You know, the door was moving, the door handle was moving. Um, so I don't think it makes a, a single bit of difference what time it actually is. Um, hi, Steve, hope you're good. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely amazing. Um, spirit box, please, and REM pod in the doorway. Ex yo, yo, uh, exploring with Danny, how's it going, mate? Um, go sit at top of stairs and call out. I might do that. I might actually call. I'll, I'll go on the top of the stairs and call out in a sec. Um, in a second. Um, keep telling Fred he's in the wrong and he's a bad person. Try and pee him off. I'll try and do that, guys. Um, oh sh! Oh crap! That was that was the thingy. Two seconds. So the REM pod's going off, but that's just because this has gone off. Steve, in about 45 minutes now. Have I been full? Jesus. Okay. Oh, crap. What do I use? All right, I'm just going to go upstairs and just do a bit more, okay? Yeah, right, guys. Um... Because it's it's coming up to the end, this might be. Um, I'll do a spirit box um, for a few of you guys, and I'll do it for about five minutes. I'll go to the top of the stairs, um, and we'll see what we can pick up. Right. So I'm going to say goodbye right now to everyone in chat because I am going upstairs. And I'm going to use the spirit box just for a bit because I have seen quite a few people that want to hear the spirit box. So let's do the spirit box for a bit. And I'm sure Dale and Justin are absolutely smiling with excitement. But sometimes you just, you got to do what the fans want. Now remember guys, take all this with a pinch of salt. I always say that. It is radio interference at the end of the day. Right then. Now remember Dale, if your camera goes off the stairs, it's not me, it's Fred pushing it off. So, get the insurance out. Because I ain't got enough money to pay for this bad boy. Anyway. Actually, what am I doing? I'll put it on the landing. There we go. I'll put it on the landing. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna lie on the stairs, guys! I'm gonna lie on the stairs. And if I, and I, I promise you, if something actually drags me down the stairs, it's legit. 
Right, we're in the dark. I'm at the top of the stairs, all on my own. I'm gonna crack out a spirit box. Um, I can't believe my son bloody bent all this aerial, man. Anyway. So here we go. Are you here with me tonight, Fred? Could you come forward and use this device and talk to me? Could you come forward and say your name to who he whatever spirit is in this building with me? Who died in the bathroom? What's his name? Do you miss Diane? Do you miss Diane Pritchard? Yes, exactly. You apparently dragged her up the stairs. Now that must took a lot of energy. Come and drag me down them right now, live on YouTube. Do you have the power to drag me down the stairs? Don't just say Simon. Do you have enough power to drag me down these stairs? Just say drag. Apparently a witch or a lady got burnt at the stake on these stairs. Let me hear you scream through the spirit box. Scream for me. That's like Stephen. Where's Moloch? Come forward, Moloch. Yeah. I'm lying right here on the stairs. You could grab me by the ankle and drag me down. Come on then. Come here to your so-called portal. 
Come and march towards me. I'll leave the camera. Don't worry about that. Come and march. Scare me out of this house right now. I can hear banging. Is that you? Come out of your portal. Come and show yourself to the world. You can only mess with women. And even they aren't afraid of you. Nothing. Hello? Hold on. Hello? Did you just make a noise? Hello? Well, you know what? Good luck to whoever's coming into this house next. I hope I've pissed you off enough and you can sort them out. So I'm gonna leave you right now because you don't have the guts or the balls to face me, do you? Because you know I'm not afraid. You've met your match, haven't you, with me? You coward. I'm leaving. Good luck, Justin. Good luck, my friend. Come down these stairs right now, you bitch. Woof. Okay, okay, it could be it could have just been the wire coming off the um off the wood. Could just be the wire. Right guys, I'm just gonna talk to you for a few seconds. Um I'm gonna talk to you for a few seconds. So yeah, let me just get this camera back on. So yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for joining, watching me, doing that long visual. You know, this is how it goes pretty much most of the time. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. We got 424 people watching right now. Massive, massive, massive thank you to all them. I'm going to go out right now. I'm going to, I think Justin's going to come in now. So Justin, get ready. You're coming into this house on your own. Um, hopefully Moloch, Emily, Fred, whoever is here, hopefully they come and show themselves right now. Um, yeah. This is hurting my arm, this is hurting my arm. Um, again guys, thank you so much for everyone for watching. Um, uh, 200, we've got 253 people who've liked the video. If you haven't already liked it, please like it and share this out. It means the world. We've got 36 dislikes, but who cares, man? It's all good. It's all fun. Um, and I think that's it. Let's see where Justin and Dale and the rest of the crew actually are. Let me get, let's get me out of this house because I have been here for quite a bit now, nearly an hour, I believe. And here he is. Yeah. Here you are, Justin. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
Cheers, man. Oh, so, great stuff. Thank you. Hopefully, you, hopefully, hopefully you get something good. You know, I've, I've been trying to cheers, you know, call it a dick yeah, and all that other stuff. So, 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 us, so, how, so how did you find it? Um, a bit quiet. You know, nothing, nothing majorly happened. I act to be honest, actually, when I turned off the spirit box at the top, I did actually start hearing movement coming from one of the rooms. Um, that was literally about five minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, but nothing, nothing significant to be honest. You know, nothing major. Um, a few little things that did kind of make me jump, but I think you could put that down to just you know the, the wire, wire stuff, the yeah, wire yeah. hitting stuff. But hopefully, you know, hopefully you get some. Hopefully, you get something happen right now. So, Thanks, man. <laughs> Do you, have you got a torch or anything? I don't actually. No, I might have to have one. Just so I just don't. Yeah, so I know what you mean about the wire because it's. You can probably see that on the floor. I don't know if I've put yeah. it on the floor. Just be oh, he's um, wrapped around and stuff. So here is a walkie-talkie. Cheers. Um, do you want to lock the door just so you don't get some smack it running and yeah, you can lock it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want me to lock you from the out outside in, do you? Or do you no. lock it? <laughs> no, I don't. Right, well, man. Take it easy. Cheers. Everyone, enjoy Justin, man. He's a good guy. Thank you. Right, let's lock this. <sighs> okay. That is dry. Right, it's gonna make my way a living room first, I think. The noises are just uh, the wires and trailing around. And oh, there we go. And we've got chucking, obviously. I'm going to try and put the ch the camera somewhere I can actually speak to you guys. I suppose. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put it here, and you've got the the hallway in case we get anything through. There you go. Right. So, I'm just gonna move this round, just say hello basically. So, oh, God, this is a seriously heavy camera. Right, so, uh, so if you are somebody who follows the Ouija Brothers and you don't really know who I am, basically, I'm from Paranormal Truth with uh, Dale, and uh, we're kind of pretty skeptical, really. So, we, we don't even use the spirit boxes the like, that the likes of uh, Steve and Griff sometimes use. And we've been to this place quite a few times. God, my hand is shaking so heavy, this camera. And uh, yeah, we've been there quite a few times. And uh, before, let me just turn this around so you can actually see it after look at my face. Um, we are, and obviously the people on the chat will probably know this as well, for those that follow us. We've been pretty skeptical of this house um, a good number of times, um, over 15, 20 visits. And we don't haven't tended to kind of get a lot for a lot of the periods, but then that kind of changed um, last year. Oh, I'm out of breath. This this camera is so heavy. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, it kind of changed last year, and we got stuff that was just mad, really, just crazy activity, um, loud noises, loud bangs, and uh, we're kind of hoping that we might get something on camera for you guys as well. That's going to be, like I, said, I'm, I mean, Steve goes around kind of calling things out and asking things to show up. I'm just going to just see if I can zoom out on this camera a little bit. That's it. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of confrontational stuff. I'm just going to be a bit quieter, really, first of all. Just if, if there is a thing, we can get it and try and work out whereabouts it is. Bit of wind from outside. That's the thing with it. It, I know that it kind of lulls you into this sense of security that you think it's nice and quiet and there's nothing going on, and then every so often something will just happen and you can't work it out. You genuinely can't work it out. It's just a strange place. It does draw you back, this place. But what I do know, and when I was here, for five days, we were doing five, a five day investigation or five nights from 8 p.m. till five in the morning. Um, we'd be calling out like this and it'd be dead quiet, nothing else, nothing much would be happening. And then the moment we talk about leaving the house or going to bed 
or taking it easy or just relaxing basically that's usually when we kind of got something um, and it can be quite you know when you're not asking for anything you're not calling out like Steve did earlier on you just just chat you're just chatting and then we kind of get something and we had uh, the maddest thing I suppose was with the Ouija Brothers last time we were here we got two clear knocks on the kitchen door and I'm watching Steve and Steve's watching me and we're, we're about about one two foot away from it Griff was in the living room, some of you guys might have even seen that. He was talking in the living room here. And uh, he could see the back of the door, we could see the front of the door, and there was two clear, loud knocks. Just kind of some something announcing their presence. And I didn't think anything of it. Um, generally didn't think anything of it at all, because I just assumed it was Griff knocking on the door. And uh, lo and behold, we opened the door and there was nobody behind it. So that was mad. So, let's try this. If there are any spirits who can hear my voice, please don't be afraid of the camera, the equipment, because I know you might be wary of this thing that I'm holding. Don't be afraid. Can you come closer or make a noise Show me where you are in the house right now. If you're in the kitchen, can you make a noise in the kitchen? Or the hallway? The stairs? Or the upstairs bedrooms? If you can hear my voice, you love the attention. I know you love the attention. And you don't like it when you're being ignored, do you? You don't like being ignored. And I'm not ignoring you. So, if you don't like to be ignored, come closer, come towards the sound of my voice, and perhaps knock on a door, like you did to me last time, or walk across above me. Make some form of noise so I know whereabouts you are. Can you knock twice if you can hear my voice like you did last time on the kitchen door? Two loud clear knocks like last time. So you can see what's in the room. Let's chuck it. I will be walking around in the house in a bit. So I'm just starting here. I'm going to call out again. Please don't be scared or afraid or worried. If there is a spirit of a child here, you can come forwards. I mean you no harm. Don't be scared or worried about the equipment I'm holding. I think we heard you last time. Do you remember? We heard a little girl laughing. There were two policemen here making a joke. So I know you're here. I know you're here, and you can probably hear my voice right now. And maybe you don't want to make a sound because you don't want to. You just don't want to, you just want to ignore me. That's fine. But I would love to hear you. Can you make two knocks like this? Come on, 
I've heard you knocking on the door. And I've heard you knocking upstairs in Philip's bedroom. So I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Come on. Is it because I'm not a woman? Would you like some women in this house? If you do, can you knock? Make a sound. If you're here, come on. Give me two knocks, nice and clear, so I can know you're here, like this. See, that's the thing. You ask for it and you ask for it and you ask for something to happen. And in this place, it just doesn't want to play ball unless it wants to. That's the thing. See, like, and I've said before, I know there'll be people dead, dead skeptical of this house and I, I would honestly be, but would have been with you last year. I would have agreed with you. But um, I know some things here we experienced it and you have to take my word for it i mean we were here with a, with a good number of other guests and we were all here we all heard the noises from upstairs we had it recorded on audio voice recorder which dad's got and then we all heard these stamping footsteps above our heads from within philip's bedroom something did not want to be ignored and also when we were here and we were kind of sleeping we slept usually around about five in the morning because we'd been up all night doing the live stream. So we'd, you know, we'd been up talking, calling out, doing loan vigils, all this kind of stuff and getting nothing at all. And then the moment we went to bed, the moment we relaxed, the moment we settled down, that's when we heard marbles being thrown on the landing upstairs, you know, just outside our bedroom doors. At the moment, the, the camera's turned off. So whatever's, I think, here is listening. I think it's always listening. And it doesn't really like to be dictated to. That's my feeling. It doesn't like to be harassed or dictated to or want to follow what other people want. It wants to do what it wants. And if it doesn't want to do anything, it won't. But that moment when it's ignored, the moment when you walk out the door, the moment when you go to bed, that's when it throws stuff. That's when it'll do something. Now there are noises outside, and there are obviously occasional bangs from outside, but there's nothing from within this house so far. What I'm gonna do, that's me, I'm just gonna Let's move to a different room. There's Chucky. Chucky. Oh man, how can you not love Chuck? Seriously. Okay, right, let's have a little wander. Just gotta be careful with this wire. That's me kicking the chair. I'm gonna go to a different room. In from the stairway. Let's just turn that light off a second. Right, I'm at the bottom of the stairs. This is where the camera was earlier. Can you, if you are upstairs and you can hear my voice now, which I'm sure if there is something here you can, can you make a noise upstairs? Would you like me to leave? Because if you don't do anything, I'll go. And I will ignore you. And I know you don't like that. So why don't you just knock on a door with a bit of furniture, 
or on the clock at the top of the stairs. Because I know you don't like being ignored, but that's basically what you're going to get if you don't do anything. So why don't you knock on something? Two knocks. Show me where you are. Just two. You did it on the doorway. This door. This door in front of me and this door here. You knocked on this door when we were here last. Right in front of me. So do it now. I know you can do it. Maybe you don't want to. Maybe you don't like to. Okay, I'm just going to take this little wire. Maybe some dragging of this wire as I go upstairs. There we go. Don't fall over, Jay. I'm just going to pull this wire a little bit. So, stay early, I went into Philip's room. I'm just gonna go and just go into Diane's bedroom. There you go. And I'm just gonna, there you go. So I'm sitting on the bed. So yeah, this is Diane's room where I am now. I don't know if you, well, you can see, it's, it's pretty small, pretty small box room really. There you go, this kind of small bed. A window there, and uh, Diane was apparently the the focus of the poltergeist activity when it was at its height in the sixties. And apparently, this bed has been said to kind of move, and the, fur the duvet is meant to be pulled off it. Stuff's meant to happen in this room. You know that boiler that Steve was talking about earlier. Come on. I'm upstairs. You know I'm upstairs. Do you want me to go to bed? Do you want me to leave? Come on, you just, you're like a child. Maybe you are a child. You certainly act like one. You know, you throw a strop when you can't get your own way. Make a noise when you want. Make a noise and you stamp your feet and have a tantrum. When you're ignored. When you get a bit of attention then it's taken away from you. Don't you? You don't like it. You really don't like it. Perhaps you are a child, or you're like a sulky teenager, or a miserable adult, just not happy in your life. You get a bit of attention, it's taken away, and you throw a strop. So why don't you hear my voice and knock on a door, or walk in front of me, or throw a marble in front of me. I'm known to do that plenty. In fact, I think you threw a marble right. I was sleeping here last time, if you remember. You threw a marble on this landing right in front of my door. But I was too tired to care. Too tired to give a shit. No, we shouldn't give a shit now. I should go to bed. Maybe. Alright, I'm just going to turn this round. Just talk to you guys for a bit because I know if anything does happen, I'm just going to put this on the side over here. Obviously, if anything does happen, then I'll turn it back over. 
Right, so. So yeah, so myself and Dale, obviously the, if, you've, if you follow us, thank you very, very much on Paranormal Truth. If you haven't followed us or you don't know who we are, you know, or um, then please think about subscribing to our channel too. Um, but we, we do go around checking out haunted locations or, or presume possibly haunted locations, but we don't use any of the gadgets. We don't use any spirit boxes. We don't use any K2 meters. We don't use any um, EMF detectors or any, any or REM pods or anything at all. Basically, we just want to try and capture something on audio or we want to try and capture on camera, basically. And uh, for a long time, we went from place to place to place and not really getting an awful lot. But then we came here and it, it, it kind of changed our opinions. And Dale might well speak to you um, a little bit more about this a bit later on, but we went from really quite hard and skeptics to the whole of the paranormal, really. We just went to these places, couldn't really understand what people were seeing, what people were experiencing. And then we came here and we got it. And it kind of blew our minds a bit, to be honest. And uh, we very quickly had to change our mind about this place. We went from pure skeptic to um, having to face the fact that we witnessed something paranormal in this house. And based on that alone, but just purely because of that, that's why we come back here. And I think why we'll keep coming back here as well, to be honest, um, because it 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 is quiet. It is quiet, you know. Um, and there will be people who come to this house and never get anything. And you, if you come with a ghost event company, you might spend, let's say, 50, 60 quid being here for an evening and not get anything at all. And that's the reality. Um, you know, but <laughs> uh, here, at least, there is a very, very definite possibility that something could happen at any point. You know, like, like I said, we've had things thrown. Um, we've had knocks, we've had footsteps, we've had um, a child, a girl, laughing in the kitchen area, in the, perhaps in the hallway, witnessed by two police officers who were here at the time. That was pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's definitely something here. And I would argue with anybody um, who thinks that this is a complete scam, um, because you just have to come here for yourself, in all honesty. You do just have to come here for yourself. Um, I can't see anything on the chat, so I apologise if you're on the chat. Um, I will be probably responding to people in the chat a bit later on when I take a look at my phone. Um, but yeah, so it, it is it is a great, great place. And we, like I said, we, I think we'll always keep coming back here just because of what we experienced before. Um, yeah, but at the minute, really, really quiet. And <laughs> when you're in this room and you look down in, you know, across the hallway, there's always that uh, feeling that something could move. There's always that feeling that something could be seen or heard. Um, and it's kind of, I, I never, let me show you. Right, obviously we've had this scene before. Let me just put it, pan this round so you can see. So this is my view. But obviously, my view isn't in night vision. So what I can see is a dark corridor, or dark landing, I should say. Uh, obviously the toilet, and right in front of that toilet, that is where the the husband of the family, an alcoholic, died in front of that toilet, choked on his own vomit, which is always nice. And um, this is where we've heard things being thrown. And when you look out into an, a, a dark landing like that, you can't help but think what might be lurking around the corner. Or not. That's the thing, for a long time we just thought this was a house. We didn't think it was a haunted house, we just thought it was a house. And now we know better really. Come on, getting bored now. Maybe you want me to be bored, maybe you want me to go. It's gotta be on your terms, isn't it? Always on your terms. I know you can hear me. 
They could probably see me. So why don't you just show or make a noise or move something so I know you're with me? starts up again. It is like a low growl when the boiler starts up so you do have to kind of um, think <laughs> about what it is you're hearing. Can you knock on a door twice? I'm asking you to knock on a door twice. That's all I'm asking. Please don't be wary of what I'm holding. You don't need to worry about this thing that I'm holding. It's just bright lights. So can you knock on a door if you're downstairs, knock on a door downstairs in the kitchen. If you're up here with me, any of the bedrooms, can you knock on the bedroom door? Seriously, it's so, so, so quiet at the minute. And it does get unnaturally quiet sometimes. I know there's a bit of noise, tra traffic noise outside. But it's that anticipation, it's the expectation. That's the thing with this house. You can't ever truly relax. That's the that's the honest, honest truth of it. You know, you just can't relax fully. You're here, you can be feeling okay, you can be quite sure in yourself there's nothing around, and then <clears throat> something will happen. You know, whether that's footsteps, knocks, something thrown, growling, hissing. Could be any of that. That's the thing. You just don't know what's going to happen. And it could be at any time of the day or not. I know there's people who they're saying uh, on the chat, oh, I come back at three in the morning. That's, that's the witching hour. That's when stuff really kicks off. It doesn't. It doesn't. We've had things, weird things happen in the afternoon. We've had things happen afternoon, we've had things happen at five in the morning, and we've had things happen late in the evening, you know, 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. It really, really doesn't matter in this house. And I think actually that's the truth for most kind of hauntings. There's no real time. I know this, this feeling that things happen at three in the morning, that's not true. There really isn't, it, it can happen whenever. But what it's not doing, because it refuses to, is show me that it's here right now, even though I know it is. That's the that's the really weird thing, you know. When we're doing these these five five night live streams, we're asking out, calling out, doing live videos from eight p.m. till five in the morning, and getting very very little. And then we call it a night, we say goodbye on the live stream, we stop recording, we get into the respective bedrooms, we get into a sleeping bag or get into the bed, and as soon as our head hits the pillow, something gets thrown outside the bedroom. So which makes you think that whatever's here, and if there is it, whatever it is, it is watching us constantly waiting for us to go to bed, waiting for us to relax, waiting for us to leave the house, or look like it's gonna, we're gonna leave the house, or for us to kind of switch off and just ignore it. And then, then it will do something. But always be when we don't want it to happen, or when we're kind of least expecting it. And when you kind of, investigate this kind of stuff. Um, if you read about poltergeist, that seems to be quite um, uh, a, 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 a pretty typical a poltergeist thing to do. You know, it's really fucking irritating. Really ir irritating. And that's the nature of it. It just pisses you off, basically. Because it can. Because it likes the power, I suppose. It likes the power and it doesn't want to play by your rules. 
so quiet, really quiet. And it's quiet from every single room up here at the minute as well. Let me just have a quick look on the chat, see what people, guy, you guys are saying. Yeah, some people kind of basically ignore me, you know, this, the fact that when the equipment is on <laughs> and recording, it doesn't like to play. When it thinks it might be captured, it doesn't like to play. That's the thing. So I, uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I, I think, you know what, I think a couple of people in the chat are mentioning about possibly leaving a camera on, leaving it recording for a little bit. Now, obviously, we'll, we'll I'll speak to uh, Steve, Griff, Dale, and, and uh, see what they suggest. And if it was obviously if this is a paranormal truth investigation, that is what we do. You know, we do that quite a lot in terms of we'll take it in turns. We'll, we'll go together, do an invest. You know, we'll uh, hang out in a room together, talk to the people on the chat, call out that kind of stuff. Um, but usually, at some point in the evening, we will leave the camera rolling. You know, set up on a tripod, leave it, taking a look at a view, whether it's inside one of the bedrooms. Um, I will move actually. I'm going to go to a different spot, I think, because I think you've seen this hallway for too long. I can find where my torch is. Oh, hang on a minute. I can't. Oh, yeah, I've got it. Yeah, so uh, there we go. Let's have a look. So, this is obviously, this is the, for those that don't, are not too aware of this house, this is the parents' bedroom. The dolls, the, uh, the lovely wardrobe that people thought they might have heard opening. The dolls, the creeping ass dolls, which are not that creepy to be honest. The REM pod, things like that. Yes, it's still. We don't use these, and me and Dale don't use those. Uh, the end of us kind of Felix bedroom. I don't think anything is going to move. I've not heard anything within this room. But, oh, that's my stomach. That's the first grumble of the night. Um, yeah, but this is the room where we heard those footsteps and um, where we also recorded, see this this television, this chest of drawers here, this television cabinet, that's where we heard from downstairs in the kitchen something banging on that bit of furniture. And it was clearly on that furniture. I mean, it could have been that tiny little thing in the corner, but I'm pretty sure it's this with the TV on it. Uh, downstairs in the kitchen, and we had some female guests in this room who were conducting a seance, so they decided they would ignore it, whatever it was or is, whether it's a he or a she. Anyway, they decided to ignore it. And let's go downstairs. And lo and behold, yeah, this is just the wire coming down. Uh, as soon as they start to ignore it, noises from upstairs. That's what I mean. This, this you know, Paul's kind of stuff just is uh, frustrating, annoying, irritating, and that's part part of investigating these things. It doesn't give you what you want, and then lo and behold, when you relax, it will do something. So I'm just going to try and put this down without it. I'm going to be very careful of Dale's camera. I know that Steve put it down on here somewhere. Let's try and put this down here. There we go. Might be a slightly wonky in it. There we go. That's better. Ah, right, okay. Let me just turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, so ugh, let's go right down here. Yeah, so very, very quiet downstairs, very, very quiet upstairs. That's not to say there's nothing here. Um, because like I said before, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced now there is something here. It just doesn't want to play. Um, we all see, well, obviously when we, whether it's a 
Griff that comes in next. It might well be Griff, it might be Dale. We'll see who wants to do in the next lone vigil or whether we come together and do something where there's a couple of us in one room calling out, that kind of stuff. And we'll see if anything else, we can get anything else going on. But uh, yeah, it is, it is a, a bit of a madhouse, this one, because it, so it, it, it does draw you in. Um, for anybody who's coming in for the first time, you, you might not be too impressed by it because it, it seems quite a nice, cosy, well, it's kind of cosy, a uh, bit dated, bit musty house. Um, but you may well come here thinking there's, n there's nothing at all here and um, or you might be lucky and something could happen. Particularly, actually, I think you're more likely to have something happen if you're a woman. So if you are a young female and you have you come here where it's a, with a ghost event company, um, whatever's here seems to like women. Or certainly, I mean, if you, if you want a, a good tactic, what has seemed to have happened, what seems to have worked, certainly with us in the past, is if you're in one of the bedrooms with a group or on your own, um, and you're female, and then you kind of call out for it and ask for it and invite it in and invite it into the room and maybe you'll get some uh, activity or some attention. And then all of a sudden what I'll do, uh, and then basically ignore it, then walk out the room. Walk out, ignore it, don't acknowledge it, don't squeal, don't scream, don't do the whole Yvette thing, just walk out. And and if you spoke to Carol Fieldhouse, the next door neighbour, she would attest to that as well. Ignore it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Um, we have a new recruit to, to do a little visual. Nice. So REM pods going upstairs because I've using this lump, lump, not not too uh, not too frightened. But anyway, so yeah, so uh, if you if you're, you know if you're a female, then you're more likely, I think, to get attention going on because um, that has happened in the past. And Carol said that if you want something to happen or to build up, where you actually start to get knocks and bangs and things like that, then whatever's here, ignore it. So that was my tactic tonight, just to see if we can basically ignore it, challenge it, that kind of thing to see if we can get something happening. It hasn't worked, but maybe with the next person coming in, um, we might, we shall see. Right, so me just, um, I'm gonna open the front door and then uh, we'll invite, we'll see what happens. Whether we, I don't know whether we'll have uh, one or two people come in for the next loan vigil, uh, but yeah, we'll see if we can get anything going on. Right guys, we're going to do something a bit different now. Um, Steve's just coming in with Sophia now. She's never done a lone vigil before, so um, just go easy on her in the chat. She's never done it before, she's a little bit scared. So she got big balls doing this guys, so hopefully it feeds off the fear. Just hold the camera. Just hold the camera. Right guys. Are we still live? We're still going? Yep, um, we want to say a massive thank you to everyone still watching. We've got 411 people watching. Now, what we're going to do is going to, we're going to do something um, a bit different right now. Um, can someone hold the camera for a sec? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, camera. just hold the camera and I'll just yeah. talk. Yeah. Yeah. I think Sark wants to be on the screen. So, yeah, what we're going to do, hold on, just, just flip that around so I can actually see you. There so, we go. Um, so I've done alarm visual, Justin's done alarm visual, and we've come to the conclusion that 
you know, we've got a lady with us, you know, the person who's actually paid for this place, um, that's invited us all along. And what we thought we would do is because she is extremely nervous, extremely scared, and people say, you know, maybe the, the monk Fred and the children actually feed off fear. So why not? We've talked her into coming into this house. She's going to do alarm vigil in the dark. She's very camera shy. Um, so she probably won't talk much. But she's going to walk around the house. Um, she's going to spend some time in here on her own. Um, so this could be quite quiet. But because she's very scared, she's very nervous. She's never done anything like this before. So no one... Try not to give her too much crap because, you know, not a lot of people do this all the time. You know, we do it all the time, so it, it feels like nothing. But um, hopefully we can get something. Hopefully whatever's here can actually feed off the fear that she is because she's absolutely shaking at the moment. Um, hopefully something can happen. Hopefully it creates a good moment for her um, and a good moment for all you people watching. So everyone, give her a massive amount of courage. Um, give her the thumbs up. Um, and hopefully, hopefully something happens. So she's going to take the camera now. It is heavy. Um, uh, she's going to take the camera now. So she might just do little bits of calling out. She's not going to show herself. Um, she's a girl. She's a lady, though. That's it. Um, I think. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Do you want a torch? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. So everybody's like, you want in the chat? Good night, guys. So oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's behind you. Okay. So be careful of the wire. Um, literally, just walk yep. around the house, yeah? Just keep vision on that, and that, that's your best friend. Yep. Yeah? I want to go through there. Um, well, you don't have to go through that yeah, way. Oh, okay. 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 Just follow the cable that All way. Right. So, this, this is incredibly hard for me, so I'm just going to let you know now. So, I can't believe I'm even doing this. You'll be good. So you we ten, will do this. So about 10, 20 minutes. Yep, uh, maybe 10. <laughs> if, if you, if something happens, you want to get out, yep. you want this as well. So I just, I've got my... Torch. Yep. Yeah. Well, actually, if you call out on that, if you're on the camera, we'll hear it. Okay. And if you, if you hear something or experience something and you just want us in, yep. then basically say it on the camera, we'll be in as soon as that feed comes to us in the, ca okay. in the car. Yep. So it'll be yep. like a few seconds. Yeah, thank you. All right. Oh God, no okay. What? If, do you, so do you want the... If there's a lot of profanities, just... Don't uh, worry about <laughs> Yeah, you'll be fine. Bear with me, people. Well, see, that does get very heavy after a while, right. so you might put it down somewhere. Thank you so much. We're going to lock the door. We're going to keep the door locked and we'll just stand outside, okay. right? I'm not going to... Look, we'll just see what we can do. Yeah. I'm not gonna, see, I don't think I'm going to go upstairs, guys. And you just want to drop the camera and get out, then yeah. just do that. Just place it on the floor, then run. And can I go into that room? This one? Yeah, but we'll go okay. through like that way. All right, All right. yeah, okay. Right. All right. Have one show where the Thank you. Is, we'll All right, g'day, guys. <laughs> so, just to let you know, I'm I'm from Australia, and this is the, well, the first time I've ever done anything like this. This is insane. And um, I have a lot of respect for this particular house, so, um, yeah, it's taken me a lot of guts to do this. My heart is pounding. I can't tell you how much my heart is pounding here. But, um, yeah, I can't believe I'm doing it. I'm just going to keep talking, you know, because um, I think if I don't, I'm probably going to have a heart attack. So, um, yeah, all right. Not so sure if I can do that. Looks easy, but I tell you, I'm not going to do that. Oh man, is my heart pounding. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> man, I'm even going to say it. If there's anybody in this house and you really want to make yourself known, you can go ahead and do something now. Because although I'm shit scared, <laughs> I'd be pretty impressed to see something right now. All right. It's going to take a walk in here. It's incredibly quiet. Everything, every single little noise makes you <laughs> do a double take, I tell you. Okay, 
So we'll go back in here. That's just the cord. go back into the hallway. It's going to do it. All right, come on now. You have to do something now for me. I am scared of you. I do have respect for you. But um, go ahead, do something. It's just the cord, guys. Oh, man, it's tough. I have a lot of respect for you, Stephen Group. Oh my God. <laughs> you too, Dale and Justin. Man, this is hard. Oh, Jesus. See, the thing is, when you turn like this, you wonder what's behind you. Okay, I'll go in here. Oh, God. It's a chair. All right. I'm now in the sitting room and here we are with Chucky. Go on now, do something. There's somebody in here on this house. Um, go ahead and you know, maybe tap on the windows, or if you're game enough, why don't you run on the ceiling? Or run above me, please. Oh. Why don't you run past that door? That would really make me run. I think I'd probably have a heart attack. But go ahead, if you can do it. Why don't you go ahead? You wanna show yourself through there? Can you open it? Come on now, if you can feed off my fear, because I, I am scared, why don't you go ahead and do that now? Use my energy. Come on. Make that cross turn. That's oh, just the camera. All right. Let's go back into the hallway. Let's make sure I'm not gonna fall here and ruin this beautiful camera. <laughs> Let's go in here. All right, come on now. I want you to repeat what happened to Steve right here. I want you to, I want you to scare me, okay? This is your opportunity. Why don't you go ahead and scare the living bejesus out of me. Go on now, run down these stairs as quick as you can and really go ahead and give me a um, massive fright. I know you can do this. Come on now. 
It's supposed to be notorious, yeah? Well, you're not showing it. It's quite interesting because I'm starting to get quite comfortable now. And that could be your cue to really come out and, and play with me here now. Come on now, you can do this. You're around that corner. All right, let's walk over to probably the place that scares me the most, which is the coal shed. And no, I'm not going to do a lone vigil in here, but I may step inside. Hang on a minute. That was just the cord. rather scary in here when you're on your own in this place. I don't think I'll go in there. But, oh man. You know, a lot of people, they sort of um, have a go at Steve and Griff for, you know, sort of, <laughs> they sort of say it's all fake and, and all that sort of stuff. Well, I tell you something, when you're standing here, and you're experiencing all this yourself, you got no idea. You got, <laughs> honestly, you got no idea how terrifying this can be. Um, everything that that's happened to them has been 100% legitimate. And I can vouch for that because I've been on, a, on an investigation with them here and everything that they, that they went through, I experienced myself here and, and it was all above board and legitimate. And I tell you something, standing here, on my own, <laughs> I got a lot of respect for them. But man, this place is dense. So go ahead. I believe in this house. I know what's possible here. But we just need to see it again. Come on now. Do something. I'm a little bit more relaxed now. I'm a little bit calmer. And now's the time to do something. What you got? Come on, Moloch. This is where my mate said something happened. My imagination. Come on now. Could be next door actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, it could have been from next door. Oh man. Alright. I'm gonna walk away from you now. Dare I say that you're weak? You're not weak, are you? I'm just a woman. <laughs> what are you going to do? No, 
hi. I'm not scared of you. Go on then. Make me scared. Why don't you hiss at me? Why don't you touch my shoulder or something? Why don't you knock really loudly or run down those stairs? Go on. Because you think I'm just a woman. You think I'm scared, but I'm not scared of you. Not anymore. I was when I entered this house, but I'm not scared of you anymore. Last chance, I'm gonna walk and stand at the stairs again. And if this, if you'd really like to scare me now, this is your opportunity. Last chance before I leave. scary are you? Final chance. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it out of the house now. But that was an opportunity. I'm really glad I took up because I was very scared, guys, <laughs> entering this house, very, very scared. And I still have inc incredible respect for this place. I always will. I love 30 East Drive. But I tell you something, you can never really be sure when something's going to happen because even though something didn't happen just now you just never know when it's going to happen I think Griff might come in now so um wow what a what an opportunity that was good but come on, Moloch, if you are here, next person in, we're going to see you. We're going to hear you. All right. I'm going to make my way out now, guys. I think they're coming now. Yeah, I can hear them. <sighs> At least I think so. Right. Yeah. You're right. you're happy, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah. But you know, I was on edge in there. What did you even think? It's um, it's dense in here. No, it does. It gets a lot of that, does. Though, yeah. But as far as uh, someone that's 
only just done it first time so give everyone a round of applause oh, i want to see their hands in the chat well, thanks everyone it, chat. it's it's yeah. really it like it really is quite scary i was trying to talk a lot so that you know i didn't i didn't uh, sort of get too scared but um you do get you do get quite comfortable after a while and it's um it's quite interesting actually that's when all of a sudden something happens isn't it oh god yeah yeah so, yeah, so um i could hear the i could hear the fear in your voice yeah. If that's any consolation. Thanks, Chris. Good, <laughs> good luck. Do you want the? Do you want this? What is it? The torch. Uh, the torch. Yeah. No, I'm I'll just leave it here. I ain't bothered about the torch. I ain't bothered. Oh, what have we got then? I mean, you've seen this. I don't know. How many, I don't know even if you can see me, guys. I'm just, obviously, you see me all bloody night. I've been just. It's because this camera is massive, and I'm a big guy. Like, but it's just, you know, I don't know. <sighs> I was going to put the, the uh, I forgot what it's bloody called now, you know, that stupid, uh, stupid stand thing, because I'm going to get straight upstairs, I am, straight into Philip's room, and I know I'm on my own again, you know, this is Philip's room, let's just bring the wire up a little bit, and, uh, can I put it on the side here? Have I got enough wire? I don't think I've got enough wire, man. There we go. I mean, because the wire on the uh, on the actual camera, guys, the wire itself can really fuck this shit. So I said I wouldn't swear. I swore. God. I'm in my, on my own now anyway, um, I don't know if it's disconnected or not, you can see my legs or whatever. Oh. I've been tired though all day, Let's see if it'll sit on here now. Nah, fuck this, I'll just have to walk around maybe, like that. All right, let's just sit on the bed and have a look. I might have pulled the wire out, who knows? I mean, you've heard Justin, you've heard Stay, and you've had Sophia, you know, asking for stuff to happen. Asking for like, I don't know, things to come and get you. And, I don't know what kind of approach I'm going to have with it. But it's, it's just this house again. It's just 30 East Drive. You know, terrifying for most people. And then for some people, it's just another thing, another another house. And uh, it, it really is just an house. And it can be... Like, do you, do you know, like, I don't know, if you was born in the 80s or the 90s and you went to your nan and granddad's house. It's kind of like that. But, um, it's kind of like that, yeah. But then sometimes, it's, <laughs> it's like it at your nan and granddad's house and it's like there's a massive fucking geezer walking around, smashing the place up and making loads of noise that's what it can be like as well now I've had most of my interactions in this room in Philip's room I've had the majority of my interactions in here and again I'm not I'm just feeling like I'm in my nan's house at the moment so I'm just hoping that you know, just stays relaxed and, you know, hopefully we get some evidence, obviously, for you guys and for myself. Because this is all about me trying to find if the paranormal's real. Which it is, because of the stuff we've had happen is ridiculous. Um, yeah, because I'm not looking at chat, I'm, I, I rarely do anyway. Um, we've got the REM pod just on the side 
I remember it, if you remember, is it on? Yeah, it's on. That was just me pressing that, guys. But if you remember last time, I actually had a conversation with the uh, with the REM pod. So I'm going to see if I can get that up and started again. Let's see if we can get uh, something with the REM pod starting. Just started spitting a little bit outside as well. Light rain, if you don't know what spitting is. It's not a bunch of blokes off the estate spitting on the floor. It's uh yeah, it's just light rain. There's a little scrape man. Um alright. It's just a tough one, eh? What do I say? Do I have to say anything? You spoke to me before many a time. Could you just come forward and just come onto the landing, basically, um, just outside of uh, Philip's room, walk through that door, and make your way onto the landing. Slowly walk towards the banister and you'll find a little item on there, it's called a REM pod and the closer you get to it, it will go off. Now, you, I'm, I'm explaining this REM pod to you, if there is anybody listening to me, if there is anybody here, we have spoke through that REM pod before and it got that annoying I just told you to shut up because you just kept there was no you know there's no intelligence from you there's nothing there's nothing about you so if you can walk towards the REM pod in the hallway and knock it off the banister I mean that'll be great if you can walk towards the REM pod on the banister in the hallway and just touch it and make it go to green could you do any of that for me now? Take as long as you need. Walk towards the hallway. And just come forward. No one's here again. No one's gonna hurt you. No, there's no one here to do that. It's all conversation. And that's what I'd just like to do with you. Just converse. Let's talk. Green light on the REM pod, please. If you don't wish to communicate with me through the REM pod, obviously the, you've got to have some time to build the energy up and to, to be able to communicate with me. We did this before, so I know that you can do it. It's just whether you've, you're willing to or, or whether you're not. And in all honesty, it's up to you because I can't do anything about that. All I can do is ask you to talk to me. And if you don't want to, then that's fine. And if you do, then just do it. Because at the moment, you've got a lot of people looking at this house, and a lot of people saying, you know, it's all BS, it's all whatever you want to call it. But it's only you that can make that difference. Open up one of the cupboard doors, move one of the dolls in this room. Because in all honesty, I've heard nothing from you. So it even makes me question if you're even here today and I'm just talking to myself like some kind of bell. Let's 
There was a great team in here yesterday which does entertainment videos. They built the energy up in this house more than probably anybody has for quite a while. So, why don't you just come forward? Shut a door, knock on a wall, scream into the camera. Fine. It's usually when you say nothing's here, that's what happens. It's usually, oh well there's nothing here, and then it goes do do do, starts going on. I'm going to sit in this room now so you can actually, I don't know, see me if you want to see me I suppose. I suppose there's not many people that do want to see me, but you know, I suppose it's part of all the, part and parcel of everything that we do here. At the, whoa, nearly fell into the bed man, let's go. So, I've relaxed, got my hands back. Got my hands back. I heard like a knock underneath me, but yeah, I don't know. Come on. There's loads of trigger objects in this house. Come on then, just keep the knocks up. You have to get louder because, like you know, I don't think these guys can hear you. I don't know if you guys heard that at all, but it was a it was a loud knock. We've heard footsteps, walking, people mumbling on the uh, hallway over the years and the times that we've been here. Did you reenact any of that? Or could you just do it? I say reenact is, you know, you should just be able to do it. Is it every time that I stop talking? It sounds like it's coming from the cupboard in the other room. Because you guys have seen your fair share of alarm vigils at this place. Um, especially from the Ouija brothers. And I'm Griff by the way if you're joining us from any other channels. Uh, part of the Ouija Rivers. We've got uh, Paranormal Truth with us tonight and um, a lady named Sophia who's uh, kindly uh, helped us along the way and um, yeah it's me staying in the Ouija Rivers and then Dale and Justin in Paranormal Truth and um, yeah I mean just just in case you don't know just in case you're just tuning in and you're uh, you're wondering who the f is that I'm trying not to swear <laughs> Um, it'd be nice if something came forward, but again, it usually just if you if you don't talk. Actually, that's good. That's something I can talk about. We went to a place. Not even going to say or whatever, but this place was the best place I've ever been to, and there was so many bangs, knocks, like the best things I've ever I've ever witnessed. In my entire life. Better than this place. You know. I've, this, this place has gone down. To be honest in my estimates. You know I thought this. I thought to myself. I thought well this place is a good place. But you know. It eh. It's, uh, it's trash. It's no good. There's, there's nothing here. Any, any other time. I mean, this other place was good. It's good, guys. 
who's good guys? We do think you know, anyway, I'm gonna say, well. It's a running theme at the moment. Walk towards the sound of my voice. Not here to hurt you. Talking to you nicely. Telling you your place, where this this house that you live in, this house where you reside. You. It's I very good. You know, you're supposed to welcome your guests. You're supposed to help them out with stuff, tell them what's going on. You know, be a good host. Be a good host or hostess. I, I uh, sexist guys. Guys, I'm saying guys a lot now. But... Be a good hostess, or host. I mean look, you look down these stairs. It's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. And that's the only way down, you know. So in, essentially, we was talking about this earlier, and essentially I'm trapped. I'm actually trapped up here. So if you decide to run up the stairs, I have got nowhere to go. Like nowhere? Nowhere? I thought you would have liked that element. That element of, you know, I can't get out. I thought I saw something under the bed, and I did, suitcase. But um, there was two knocks, guys, from, from up here in this, uh, in this cupboard, round around the, this cupboard way, that I, um, I don't know, I heard. That's where I'll be sleeping tonight. It's very comfortable, I'll tell you that now. It's very comfortable, and the other thing is, is that through the night, you get more activity through the night than any other time. So you can be like, <laughs> you can be trying to get to sleep, and then you've got someone going, in the fucking hallway. You know. Or downstairs, chairs dragging, and stuff downstairs, you know. So... I oh, don't really know, guys. But, uh, I'll head downstairs. Let's see if we can, uh. I mean, look, so if you just saw, like, a black mass just walk. Are you happy that I've come downstairs now? Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And this is where Steve was standing. If you look back at one of our older videos, guys, Steve was uh, looking up the stairs and he asked, well, he said a few a few strong words. And then uh, the next thing you know, he was up the stairs. So... But um, I mean we've got Chucky on the chair again. You've seen him already. We've got we've got we've got stuff. We've got things lying around. I haven't. The thing was, is I didn't want to come in here and ask all the same questions as everyone else. I wanted to come in here and try and, you know, get it to just, you know, be respectful and, and start talking to us. I mean, there is a case where you talk about other things and don't talk about this house and then all of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden you get stuff happening. 
So this camera is massive to walk around with, and uh, and yeah, it's uh, it is a chore, but we do it for you guys. We do it for you guys. So you know, let's uh, let's just do, do the classic cold shit. Eh? The classic cold shed, cold, cold or cold shed? I don't know. There ain't really much to say in here other than me and nah. All right, so I'm in the cold shed once again. Come on. Can you make this door rattle and shake like you did before? There's just little knocks on that behind me because the camera's selling. I mean, could be some spoilers in here, but who cares? Let's get into character. I don't even know if it's gone off. It could have gone off. Hello? Hello? It's all look like at work. Jeez. Again, that just could be the, the wire. I just, I'm trying to think, what could I do differently to make this spirit or spirits talk to me? And there is nothing. Because it's all on there, mate. It's always on you, eh? No one else could have any fun. You know, don't you think it'd be good if I fucking, if I could catch something? You know, I know we've caught stuff, but don't you think it'd be great if we could just bloody have some kind of, some action? It's always on your terms, man. Get on our level. That's just the wire, guys. It's not some demonic dragon. Get on our level. I'll ask you one last time. There's a REM pod at the top of the stairs. Push it off. Or show yourself, just something, you know. I mean, I, I suppose that's a lot to ask, isn't it? That is a lot to ask.
What if I said that I was leaving now? Could you walk towards me and see me out? Do you believe in God? Just two loud knocks will do. Did you see that light then? I wonder if you guys saw that. There was a light like at the top of the stairs. Unless someone shone his, did have to shine it through Philip's room window. It was like light. Can I ask you one more time? Do you believe in God? Two knocks will do. Two loud knocks will do. Would you talk to me if I believed in God too? Is there a life after death? Is there a limbo? Is that where you are? They say hell is earth, where we live now. We are living in hell. And whatever we do in this life will determine whether we go back into heaven or we stay in this eternal hell until we correct ourselves. What do you believe? Just a disclaimer guys, I'm just talking. All right, so whatever. I'm not really feeling it. It's just relaxed, I'm chill. Everything about it's relaxed and chill get to Benidorm tomorrow so I'm, my head's in the wrong place anyway you know what do you say I love ghost hunting it's my favourite thing and I love just trying to find proper evidence real evidence that's all I'm about you know it's just nice for you guys to see what we do as a hobby and then you guys can watch us along the way as well so it is what it is but there's a lot of crosses in this house so I was just asking about God that's all I was doing don't, don't hold it against me, guys. Guys. <laughs> Whatever. I'm in the kitchen. Can't really do it because you've got the PCs in there. I've been upstairs. You know, I mean, what else do you want from me, man? I don't know how long I've been in here either. Show me who you are! I command you to show me who you are. I command you to come and show all these people who you are. What you're about. And why are you here? If you want me to leave, then just say it. Just say leave. You've screamed in my ear before. You can do it again. Show me who you are, for God's sakes. Rempod at the top of the stairs, look. Come and touch this. I'm right here.
you haven't really lived up to anything that you're supposed to scare people on or anything. You've not spoke to us and I think it's quite rude. Maybe you think it's rude that we came into your house. Maybe you think that's rude and that's fair enough. But if you want us to leave, then speak to us. Just one little blimp on the red pot, one of these, just one of them, just one of those and I'll get out. Just one green blip and I'll go. I'll count you in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One green blip, and I'll go, and I'll leave the house. Keep walking though. Keep coming. Walk towards me, walk towards the sound of my voice. Walk towards the lights that you can see on the banister. Look at him creaking. And then all you have to do is touch this once, this here. Just a REM pod where I'm pointing. And don't say you don't understand me because apparently ghosts have got a universal language and you can understand any language. So let's go. Them linguistics. Give me those linguistics. It sounds like biscuits, doesn't it? Mm. Could do with a biscuit. I love a biscuit. Not an American biscuit. Like a proper English. Obnob. An odd obnob. Chocolate obnob. Yeah, man. Red hot cup of tea. <sighs> what am I doing here? Should be eating obnobs and I'm watching this. <laughs> oh! What else am I supposed to say? I am scared, guys. Been here too many times. There's definitely something here, like a hundred percent. But is it here tonight? Watching, lurking in the shadows. You know, where is it? But it's been a pleasure having you with me, walking around this house. You know, pleasure having you walking around this house for me, and I mean, like, it's it's just be, it's just been fun, and I I enjoy every moment of being in here, and I enjoy everything about it, because at any at any moment he could just go see in a bit, but today isn't the day. So thank you very much for joining me on this. Terrible arm visual I've done. I'm not going to use spirit box or anything like that. If the REM pod goes off, the REM pod goes off. But I'm uh, I'm out, guys. So cheers for joining me. Peace. And I'll see you when I see you. Probably in about 25 minutes. Let's get downstairs then. Have I zoomed in? Oh, he's zoomed in. Whoo! All right, so I'm going out. Cheers for watching us, guys. Um, cheers for being massive supporters of everyone that we work with and massive supporters of ourselves um, and just yeah just thank you for being yourselves and we'll always be ourselves so you can always have confidence in that and there's a few people that have met us now that watch us and um, they can all tell you the same um, that I'm exactly the same person as I am on here except I suppose I'm a little bit more articulate when I'm on the camera which even though that might not sound fucking good and it might not sound right it's true it is true so leave that there and uh, 
I'm just gonna stand here until one of them come in. So I mean, look, that's a that's a fucking shot. That is just the body, the body of Griff. The body of Griff compels you. The body of Griff compels you. But we we got nothing. Cheers for joining us. Do you want to take out before I go? No, I'm good, man. I don't, sure? I don't do sugar anymore, man. Fuck off. Is he after what I told you before? <laughs> I don't do it no more. <laughs> Whatever, man. Put me on edge now, making me think I'm going to be a diabetic. You want to have a tea cake? No, I'm alright, man. Honestly, I don't want one. But this is a handover on the way. Thank you, Griff. It's very kind of you. It is, man. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Enjoy your time, lads. Cheers. Cheers. Fucking get you down the stairs, man. So do I. I wish you would. Stop me from being so fucking bored. <laughs> Alright guys, we do it for you guys. Alright, it's Dale, Paranormal Truth. And obviously this house so far has been fucking disappointing man. So, um, I don't even know what I'm going to do to be honest. So what I probably might do is sit down for a little bit and um, I don't know, call up. I'm not, I'm not even going to call out because calling out in this, let me just... Let me just sort this camera out a little bit, I don't want it to fall. Yeah, call, calling out in this house is fucking pointless, let me tell you. Um, every time we come in this house, it, stuff happens when you're least expecting it. When you're talking amongst yourself, when you sat down, relaxing. But, um, yeah, just, just calling out generally doesn't even do anything. And yeah, it is cold by the way, I've, uh, my hands were nearly dropping off before. Right, okay, right, let's uh, tell you what, let's do something in the coal shed. I don't know, what the fuck has Griff took this cable? Right, let me turn this round. So, the, the thing is with this house, it lulls you into a false sense of security, right? If you've never done this before, you'd be shitting yourself, without a doubt. But, having been here many times, I know majority of the time nothing happens in here, which is, which is the paranormal in general, right? But, um, you know, for somebody doing it as, for the first time, I can get why you'd feel a little bit on edge about it. You know, when I did my first low vigil, I was a little bit freaked out by that. I mean, looking up them stairs now, you'd be, yeah, you'd be a bit worried, wouldn't you? Um, but yeah, it's not too, not too bad. So anyway, I'm gonna go, go in the coal shed for a little bit. And let me tell you, right, I have heard the fucking sounds coming from this coal shed when something's been banging on the door. So I hope it happens. Just trying to stop this cable from being... Fucking hell, this is... Trying to put it somewhere where it's not going to fall off. Yeah, if I drop this camera, it's all my fault anyway. Something means you've got to pay for it. It's all good. For fuck's sake, man. This is not... This is not good. There we go. There we go. There's a video on, um, on YouTube where something bangs on the coal shed door and it's fucking freaky. Now, had I heard it prior to what I experienced back in August here last year, I probably wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> but just having 
experience what I've experienced in this house and bear in mind me and Justin have been here you know God knows how many times um, Justin probably came here I don't know maybe 10 15 times um, with his when he used to work with Phil Wyman's ghost event group and I'd been here a number of times as well and it was very very quiet nothing happened and then um, I don't know whether Justin's covered this or not but August last year was it was a game changer for me and Justin really we had thunderous full and apologies for the guys who from Power and Chief have may have heard this story before but there was like thunderous footsteps coming from the ceiling above and they travelled diagonally across the ceiling where Philip's bedroom was and there was nothing in there it was away from Carol's side of the house and it was just fucking insane to be completely honest and that's what changed mine and Justin's view of this house we knew for sure there was something in there then now this coal shed that I'm in now was it played a huge part of the original hauntings back in the you know the 60s and 70s when Joe Pritchard got locked in it and whatever it was wouldn't let him out and whatever it was was said to basically change his life um, and his views of the house and I think that's when he basically determined that there was something here so I know exactly that there is something here I know without a shadow of a doubt I just don't know what it is I'm not saying it's a ghost um, I just don't know what it is, it's some kind of energy maybe, some kind of conscious energy because I don't know it just likes to it likes to play with you a little bit so you know it would be quiet all through the investigation you know when we're here for five nights uh, back in you know May that's just gone and then um, you know kind of going to bed at five o'clock in the morning it would start throwing shit around. We would all, I would sleep in Philip's room. I slept in there for five nights. Justin slept in Diane's room for five nights. And yeah, it basically quiet, probably pretty quiet. And then what would happen is we'd get down to get some sleep and then something would be thrown on the landing. It was like it was waiting for us to go to bed. So that's why I'm saying I think something in this house fucks with you, like you, the way you think. And that's why I'm saying I don't necessarily think calling out does anything in here. So if something's going to happen, it's just going to be... I've got more chance of something happening now, just me talking to you guys. Because I'm ignoring it, I'm not talking about it. Well, I'm talking about it, but I'm not talking to it. And I think... I don't know, I think whatever is here... I don't think it responds to direct calls. Because the numerous times that I've been here, calling out doesn't work. So, yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is. So, I think, I mean, obviously it's quiet in here. You know, I could, I suppose I could put this little hat on. Yeah, there's no fucking spiders in there because they are fucking creepy. I don't like spiders. Fuck it, I'll put the hat on. There we go. Don't even fucking fit me. Look at that. Good hat line, it. Don't even fucking fit me head. I don't know how it fits Griff. It fits Griff's head and not mine, but anyway. Anyway, let's go for a wander, see what's going on. There's obviously not a lot going on in here. Right. See what people are saying in the chat. Is there anything specific that they want me to do? If you, if you want me to do something specific, say it in the chat and I'll try and, uh, I'll try and do something. Right, uh, where to go? So, go upstairs, see what's upstairs. See if Moloch the Bollock is here. Did you hear that Moloch? Called you a Bollock. How do you like that? I know you're here. Well, I don't, I don't know you're here, but I'm pretty sure you are here, and I'm pretty sure you are listening to me. Because I know exactly what you like, having been here quite a few times. And, you know, I think the thing with you is you like to scare people who have got fear in them. But you're not going to get that with me, sunshine. Now this room, this is the creepiest fucking room of them all, in my opinion. 
sit on this bed here. Right. I can't see the shot by the way guys, so apologies for that. Right. <sighs> A little bit out of breath because I don't do stairs. Is there anybody here? You're going to show yourself to me? But again, the calling thing, calling out thing doesn't really work. I heard some of them, but I think that might have been outside. You know to growl at people, you're gonna growl at me. Come on, do it. See Justin that. If you're watching Justin, I think you'd look good in this. You see it? <laughs> you in Moloch? Moloch? You bitch. So the thing is, when we've been here, each room has its own little bit of history. And not only that, ugh, it has its own little bit of, I don't know, stuff that goes on in each particular room. When me and Justin came here back in, when was it? May 2017, or April 2017, I think it was. We, we set a lock off camera in this room and we got loads of like knocks and bangs, taps, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, we'd come over the times and it'd be just dead, it'd be nothing. You know? And then you've got the parents' room, which I don't particularly think is very active. I mean, there have been the odd little thing going on in there. Like when the camera was set up on like on the little, little ledge just there. You know, you could hear like little taps. What the fuck is that? Uh, you could hear little taps and stuff coming from the other rooms. It was probably coming from either the parents' room or maybe Philip's room. But in my opinion, Philip's room is the most haunted, which is the one I'm just pointing at there. Just see it. Doorway's just there. This particular room was supposed to be the most haunted room but other than like taps and all that kind of stuff not really heard anything I mean the wall that's just behind me is uh, basically where Carol's house is and you know you've probably seen interviews on Paranormal Truth channel or other YouTube channels where you know they talk about um, like a black monk coming out of a seven foot fitment, you probably heard her say seven foot fitment <laughs> quite a lot. Um, but and again, that's it's that wall just there. But in my opinion, I've not really had much in this particular area.
Is there anyone here? Do you want to scare me out of the house? Well, if that's what you want, you better make it good. And I don't mean flip-flops or any of that shit. I'm talking heavy objects. What a noise then. That's gotta be coming from cows. Yeah, it's gotta be cow. Bear in mind guys, I'm right next to Carol's side of the house here, so any noises potentially might be coming from there. But yeah, as I was saying, like, you know, we did the five nights here back in May. You know, we'd get in bed, Justin would be in the bed that I'm sat on now, I'd be through there. And various guests stayed in the parents' bedroom. And then you'd basically just get shit thrown around on this landing here. Just randomly, like marbles. Uh, I think a battery got thrown at one point. It's like it waits. It's like it's watching and it's waiting. I'm bearing in mind, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a skeptic, by the way. I don't believe that necessarily what we're seeing here is the spirit of a dead person. I don't know what it is. All I know is it's some kind of energy that can throw things and it also make noises. I mean, I mean, look at the knock on the kitchen door that we got. And again, that was us playing on the fact that we were going to leave. And as soon as I opened the door, two knocks on the kitchen door. I also watched um, the door handle go down in the daytime that was as well, and the, the keys were jangling in the lock. So it's just, it's when you're not expecting it and when you're not asking for it, that's when stuff happens in this house. I think when I've finished this little bit, I think we'll probably always come back in the house and we'll I think we'll maybe just set a camera up and, um, you know, just... Try not to drop the camera. Come on! If you're listening to me... Why don't you do something to get these people entertained at home? Because I'm not very entertaining, stood in a dark house, doing nothing. <sighs> we need stuff happening, don't we, really? I just hear a noise as this cable goes down the stairs, guys, so just be mindful of that. So I think I think this this area here is quite active. I think like well, this um this hallway area as well as upstairs really, I think because I've heard I've heard something hiss in this particular area here. In fact where I'm stood right now in fact. That noise you heard was the cable coming down the stairs, don't be worried about that. Let's just sit down on here. I was going to sit 
sit in silence for a little bit. I thought the batteries about to die. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me just change the battery. Camera's just going to go off a second, guys, and we'll just get this battery changed over, won't be a moment. I'm just doing a noise on. Is that you? Well, come on then. I don't know whether you're getting that. I'm hearing noises upstairs now. Well, come on. Come down the stairs. I heard that. Did you hear that? Tell me you heard that. Well, come on then. You think a little noise like that's going to start worrying me? You'd better do something better than that. There's noises coming from in here, so this is where I should be. So come on then. I'll come back. Shock, it's gone all quiet again. I'm going here. So I know for a fact that when Kelsey was here, she was in there when uh, something ran down the stairs at her all. So something certainly happened within the room anyway. At this point I have to turn the chaos and get to it now. Come on, please. I'm getting pretty bored now. I'm hearing noises, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's coming from Carol's, to be honest. 
I just heard a few noises on the right side. Obviously the right side of the wall, just here. The other side of that's Carol's. I did hear a few noises from what I thought was the hallway, but again, because Carol's house is on that side, it could be that. Or you could just throw that chair at me right now. If you want. So I mean guys, it's just a quiet house. <laughs> it's basically most of the time that's all it is. Nothing happening, no noises, quiet. I would love if we just saw a fucking black mass walk past that doorway now. Imagine that. Deadly silent. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I hope that was walkie talkie. Is that you guys? Yeah, I'm fine, why? We just stated we wanted to know if you wanted us to come in, or Yeah, come in, I'm done, it's bored. Boring, nothing's going on, man. Uh, do you want us to come in, then? Yeah, come in. We're coming in. <clears throat> right there, coming in now, guys. There's not a lot going on. REM pod's going on. But that is the walkie-talkies, probably.
you know that didn't even like sound like somebody was pulling the walkie talkie. Sergio Dale. It went. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I heard. I was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Because the walkie talkie was on here and I was in there. And I was just like, what? And then the REM pod started going off. And I was like, yeah, well that's the walkie talkies, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just quiet. Man. I'm assuming it's quiet. Couple of um, some noises upstairs. I was you? getting some, but I, that could have been Carol's because I heard, when I was sat down in there, I heard noises coming from Carol's house, so it just could have been that. Mm. What the boiler then? Uh, I heard the water noise you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's quite noisy. Wasn't yeah, it? that's what. I, well, I heard that when I was in Philip's room. Mm. It just kind of catch you off guard when you hear that. You know, for the first like second, split second. Yeah, because yeah. well, because well, you hear a noise, you don't, you don't know what it is. Because yeah. like a hiss, he's like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that fucking that hiss, I was like, what the fuck was that? Because yeah. it didn't sound like any with you guys. Yeah. Just sounding like a hit to me because that door was shut. Yeah. So the noise is refracting all the way around there into there. Yeah. And I was just like, no, man. So, yeah, we got 300 people still watching. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Um, You're nuts. Thank you. Yeah. I <laughs> don't know what what we're gonna be doing there then. Just like. Just I, I think just instead of doing obviously I think we've, we've had yeah I think chatting we've all just done, in the door alone vigils. No, we can just chat with the lights on the living room for a bit. Just I reckon just because. The, the big thing here is, if you ignore it, it might happen. So, if we just have a general chit-chat... Get lights and I'll stick it in normal mode. Yep. 